Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at the Grove, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And we're also at Farmer's Market as well. They are connected. The Grove is celebrating their 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So they have, I, we haven't been here in a while. And they're, they have like different stores here, different food options here. Don't know where we're gonna eat yet. We're gonna eat the Grove or just across to the Farmer's Market. We'll go walk around and see where we're gonna go. Yes, a lot of changes like you mentioned. They yeah. even relocated the Apple Store yeah. to another yeah. location. Yeah, and it's kind of a cool Apple, Apple Store. I like it. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah. This is the newly located Apple Store. It used to be just right across the walkway right here, but now they've moved to this location and they got trees. Yes. Check it out. It's humongous. Yeah. This used to be the old Crate and Barrel location. That's right, yeah. Let's go inside. Okay. We're on board the free trolley that yeah. goes around the Grove. It uh, starts at 1 p.m. and then it goes to 8.45. Nice, yeah. I like it. I think this is the first time I rode on it. What? Yeah, first time. You like it, baby. Boys and girls, welcome aboard the Grove Trolley. My name is Charlie. I'm your conductor for this trip. Over there we got the driver up in the front. His name is Brian. Say hello, Brian, everyone. Hey, good afternoon, Brian. David from the Riddler and Oswald Cobblepot, also known as Penguin. Then we also have this person who has a bunch of cool curators, they have vinyls, they have CDs. We decided to get some appetizers here. Blue Ribbon Sushi uh, Bar and Grill. So check out the QR code if you're wondering what they have here. But we ordered today some California roll and we got a, uh, I guess an optional Dungeness Crab here. Uh, it comes with the regular imitation crab, but uh, we kind of splurged a little bit and got the real, the real stuff. And on this side we have the uh, eel, um, what is it? Dragon, Dragon roll? roll? Dragon roll, yeah. So it's called with fresh avocados, some uh, freshwater eel, uh, masaga, which is some uh, some little eggs, I think, and um, some radish in it. So both look really good. These rolls are cut pretty thick, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and get this Dungeness crab one. You know how you usually get like at least half of this, and that's one roll. These are pretty good size rolls, six pieces per roll. You can see the real crab in there with some avocado. Go ahead, dip it in. This soy sauce is really thick looking as well. And you can see the graininess in the wasabi. So you know it's uh, freshly done. Here is my bite. You're so California mm. eating uh, sushi here and having the, uh, the grove and the, uh, the water fountain. Yep. And some music. Beautiful day. Yeah. Delicious roll. You can taste that Dungeness crab. It is extremely sweet naturally. I have the little crunch of the little little eggs there and the cucumber crunch. That avocado is creamy. This is a delicious roll. My turn to try this dragon roll. Dry chopsticks. I, I can't stand it. I gotta dip it. Okay, here we go. Yes, I know that's a little weird, but uh, yeah. Here we go. Dragon roll. I'm not gonna use any soy sauce since they put the, uh, the drizzle of the sweet eel sauce on top. Big bite. Man, this roll, delicious. I don't know what it is, but it is extremely soft. Great flavor on that unagi, which is the fresh water here. Oh, that dinging is the, uh, the trolley that we rode on. Yeah, this, this is a great roll. I mean, compared to like, I don't know, like, like supermarket or, or even some other sushi places that we've been to, this one blows it away. It really does. Love it. 
A little wrap of blue ribbon sushi. That was delicious. Yeah. Now, it's not cheap here. No, it's not, but, but it's you know, very good. You're, you're at the Grove in uh, you know, kind of a foo foo part of LA, so yeah. you gotta expect the prices. Yeah, yeah. Outside. It kind of reminded me of Marimoto. Yeah, it's the one in Las Vegas, Vegas right? Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I good stuff. recommend it. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, especially yeah. the two rows that we had. Yeah. Now we're gonna go walk toward the uh, farmer's market and get some more grub. But yeah. this was just an appetizer. This is just an appetizer. Let's go see what they have over there. Yes. American girl store here that's where you can make a doll that looks just like your little girl and you can dress up in different clothing but what's interesting at this American girl store which is right on the corner this is also has the American girl cafe Pretty crowded here today. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna try something different than we usually do. Look at this one. This looks really good. Honey pistachio crunch. See, they got they got some cool flavors here that yeah. you don't see elsewhere. And look at this. This is a whole sheet. A whole sheet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun for our party. Let me say that backwards. Wow. They got some uh, old, uh, what is it called? Retro, uh, yeah, retro old candies school. here. Remember the candy buns? Yeah, candy buns and sugar babies. Abba Zabba, who's a fan of these? I like this a lot. Sweet tarts. You remember these? Nekos. Even the Zots. And everybody remember these little wax. Uh, yeah. You should chew on it afterwards. And the hot tamales, lemon heads. Austin Baked Beans. Yeah, they got all the good stuff here. They do. Here's a new place called the Pasta Corner. It's a uh, fresh pasta. Yeah. yeah. Fresh daily. Here it is. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Look at that black one. Mm -hmm. We were going to get some green beer because okay. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. Right. Yeah, so today's the 16th, but they right. only serve it on the 17th. Only, oh well. Man, I know, we it. both work, so next did, time. Did you bring any food coloring with you? Sorry, baby, no? I didn't. No. When you're missing New Orleans. Yeah, this place is pretty legit. I've tried a lot of their food, and it really brings me back to New Orleans, so I really like this place. Uh, yeah, the but gumbos, be, be warned, it is on the spicy, spicy side. Yes. Yeah, over here. But it is good, though. Yeah. Uh, this is Dupar's Bakery. Uh, what's the special? Fresh pie of the month for March is the fresh peach pie. Wow. And look, it looks delicious. It's fresh, baby. They get it out from the oven, they put it in there. Oh, it's I fresh. see. I see. Found it right here. It does look really good. Wow. They got a lot of pies here. They do. I like the mini pies. Look at that. Yeah. And it's only like. $3 difference, $11, and for a pie, it's $15.95. Yeah. So yeah. I just get the whole pie. Definitely a better deal. Yeah. The French Crepe Company has one of my favorite crepes, which is the crepe with the Grand Manier. Sweet butter and Grand Manier, that's where it's at. It's right here. And they set it on fire, they too, do. right? Yeah. yeah. It's really good. But it's pretty awesome. again, not today. Not today. Nona's empanadas. These look delicious. They smell delicious. Yeah, we always shoot it on previous vlogs, but we never, we never tried, tried it. it. So yeah, try and they're running out. Yeah. They're running out of stuff. Yeah, I wanted to try this one, but they're sold out. Carnitas as well. Yeah, there's pickings are getting slim. Yeah. So we're gonna try this chicken one right here and this corn. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. Looks good. These are five twenty-five each. Here they look like they're pretty big empanadas, and it even says what kind they are and where it's from. I'm gonna try out these corn, this corn one. They're hot. Here and usually, babe. when you get one, they put it just in a little holder so you can kind of walk and eat. We got two, so they give us a little box. Let's go ahead and open this again. These are really hot. 
Look at the way they're pinched. They're like perfectly done. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, wow. That's crazy right there, man. Oh, yeah. Cheese and corn. That looks delicious. They are temperature hot. This crust on the outside, it's very thin, so it's very easy to eat. Corn is sweet. I'm trying to taste and see. Cheese, a very light tasting, not a very strong cheese taste. The corn really comes out perfect because it's a uh, corn and banana. The oh. corn really comes out in this one. Any this spice is, this at is all? Delicious, no spice at all. This temperature hot. Mm. This is good. Definitely get it again. Here's a chicken one. You're right. This is very hot in temperature. You can barely kind of hold on to it. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Attempt number two. You know how some people say uh, you guys uh, should put bloopers at the end of the re at the end of the vlogs. Uh, since we always shoot most everything only one time, the bloopers are included. So yeah, here we go. Oh, that one tore apart easy. Look at that. So this is the chicken one. You can tell it's got pieces of dark chicken meat in here. Uh, a little bit of peppers, and I'm not sure what else. Um, but yeah, let's try it out. It has that great savory pepper and bell pepper flavor to it. Uh, not very spicy at all. It does have some good spices that you can taste in it. But of course, a lot of chicken is in here. What did you get it again? Yeah, I would. And I think it has boiled eggs too. They have the... Um, they have the beef version exactly the same as this. They're all sold out. The guy in front of us, he got the last two. But as far as chicken empanadas, there's a winner. Like I said, they give you a lot. Look, look at this one, this pack. Yeah, we finally got able to try this place. I'm glad we did. I like it. For our last meal, we have um, either Bryant Pit Barbecue or the new Fritzy Coop chicken like sandwich mm. place. What are you in the mood for? Yeah, you know what? We really haven't tried either one. Right. Um, man, they, they both look kind of good. Let's do the, let's do the chicken. You, the, the chicken coop? Yeah, the chicken coop. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I think we're going to make our chicken sandwich into a, a lunch box. Yeah. Which is a $14.95. This is the lunch box combo. It comes with uh, two chicken strips with uh, what uh, spicy mayo with cheese it has cheese in here pickle relish sweet oh, pickle yeah. relish and spicy mayo yeah this is a little bit smaller than the actual Burger. original yeah. chicken sandwich but this is perfect for us right, right now right and it's curly fries or tater tots and of course the lemonade which is good it's very ice cold and a little bit uh, a little tart so it's oh, good nice. yeah so we're gonna cut this in half and uh, go for it there we go. I know it's pretty hot because these are all made to order. Yes. This is what it looks like inside. You can see those chicken tenders, those chicken tenders, the cheese and the relish in there, the sweet relish and the, the spicy meal. But I had, now this chicken tender is hot. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and bite into this. The breading is crunchy. For this chicken tender. Right now, though, I only taste breading. The breading overwhelms the chicken. It's nice and crunchy, though. These buns are really soft. The bun is really thin. The cheese is not overwhelming at all. The spicy mayo isn't very spicy. 
chicken sandwich is okay. Before I take my bite of the chicken, I'm gonna go for some of these curly fries here. Very similar to like Arby's curly fries, but these are maybe a tiny bit more saltier. They're crispy, and they're good. But here we go. Let's go for this chicken. Uh, like you mentioned, it is uh, crispy on the outside. Uh, I don't think it's seasoned too well. I think they rely on the relish and the uh, spicy mayo. So this is the chicken by itself. Um, typical kind of black peppery type of uh, seasoning with the batter. Uh, like you, I think it's it's okay. Uh, not the best chicken sandwich you've had. Not like a Hetty D's or anything like that, but it's okay. I mean, if you're in the mood for a chicken sandwich, there aren't that many choices inside here in farmers market, so this, I think that's about it. So uh, this will probably fit the bill. This is the best toffee. Little best little John's. Toffee. We're gonna skip it. Stay. No, no. Don't get weak, babe. Look, here it is. This is by far like the best toffee that we've had. Yes. yes. Yeah. There and might be better ones, but we haven't tried it yet. Uh, in house made. Yeah. This is like good stuff. Yeah. Are you doing? We bought some. Egg. We did. Yep. We, we did. had to do it. And now it's a repeat. We're trying to get everything. And we're trying to get Dupars. They have their, all their fresh pies. Yeah, that we're we, that we showed you. Yeah, we were going to get those, but then as we walked by Little John's, we're like. They gave us a sample. It cooked us. It did. So let's try this out. Baby, we'll, we'll, already kind of know. We'll show the whole piece. So oh, yeah. what did we get here? This piece here is done by the pound. This giant piece here was $11. 11 $12. Yeah, look at that. Hand done in house. Hand done in house. Oh yeah. Let's break this up. Uh, the sample that we had, in fact, this right here, is the most. I, I want to say tender type of griddle or toffee. Yeah. Very soft. You know, hard. So, some of them are like almost crack your tooth kind yeah. of hard. It's not like that no. at all. No, these are again all in house made, fresh every single day. Yeah, we here recommend it, is. it. Yeah. There you go, babe. This is a slice of heaven in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the best. We won't, it won't make it home. Yeah. Mm. We'll Buttery. Take, we'll take this moment of silence. It's buttery, crunchy, very smooth. It's the it perfect, the perfect balance of everything. It is. From the toffee, the, the brittle, the, the, I don't know, what were these, nuts on top? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they really have there. it down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet it's the number one seller here. It is. It's it is. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, that's it for Farmer's Market and The Grove. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. You have some shout outs. It was a perfect day today. It was. Okay, ha happy birthday to everyone. Kingsley, happy first birthday. Mm -hmm. Michael, happy birthday. Frontier, Frontier, happy birthday. Yes. Um, Alice's 81st birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sheena, happy birthday. Rayanne, happy birthday. Eric Brown, happy birthday. Uh, Michael and Jessica, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, Jared and Esther, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. David and Sarah from Hawaii, the one that gave Aaron snacks that they went to go see her at Universal. Oh, yeah, that was very nice thank of you. you. Thank so you so much for giving Aaron a little snacky. She sent me a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy and Rob from South London, thank you so much for watching. And Mike and Lil from New Zealand. We just saw, I think, their channel. We kind of opened up their channel, didn't we, baby? Oh, we did. Yeah, they're That's from right. New Zealand. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for watching. Yes. Yeah. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy anniversary. And again, thanks so much for watching. Yes. Um, uh, we don't remember to say it all the time, but uh, <laughs> if you like these type of content and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We do these kind of food uh, travel videos. Mm -hmm. And the traveling is kind of, it's not put on hold. We're watching flights every single week, but it is spring break. So just heads up. We're trying to fly out somewhere. We can get there, but we can't make it back because of spring break. Yeah, so. a perfect example is today we were going to go to San Francisco. Uh, we could have gotten there, but we couldn't come back. Right. 
Yeah, right, because that, the flights problem. were too full. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, even Hawaii too. Yeah, Hawaii too. <laughs> For a short weekend trip. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we did shoot this uh, uh, at the same day as the Q&A 2022. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check that out. It'll answer a lot of your burning questions yep, it for will. us. Yep. We're done, baby. We're done. Yep. All right, thanks everybody for watching our adventures here again at the, at the Grove and Father's Market. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.